The nation is still reeling from the news of an attacker taking the lives of dozens of Americans and injuring hundreds more, and the hits just keep on coming. At a time when we should be unifying to support one another and try to figure out how to keep things like this from happening ever again, some are more interested in pointing fingers. No matter who you are, or what your political background or allegiances, it's truly inhumane to wish for the deaths of others. That kind of thinking is what gets us tragedies like the Holocaust. Life is precious, and someone has to prove themselves a menace to society to deserve death in this country. And that judgment is made by a jury of their peers. However, at least one of the top lawyers at CBS was willing to forego that little technicality we call due process and say that the Las Vegas massacre was probably okay because country music fans are generally right-leaning. According to Fox News, CBS has parted ways with one of the company's top lawyers after she said she is not even sympathetic to victims of the Las Vegas shooting because country music fans often are Republican, when discussing the tragic mass shooting that occurred in Las Vegas late Sunday night. Being Republican may not be popular in corporate America, but it shouldn't give anyone a license to kill you either. As you can imagine. This didn't go over well with the country or the company that she's supposed to represent. Thankfully the organization was willing to cut ties with someone who espouses such sentiments. They were eager to distance themselves from the situation once word of her social media posts got out. Haley Geffman Gold, the network's now former vice president and senior counsel, took to Facebook after a gunman opened fire at the Route 91 Harvest Music Festival in Las Vegas killing at least 58 people and sending more than 500 others to hospitals. This exploded on news websites, including our own and CBS was quick to make sure that the country knew they weren't condoning her behavior. This individual, who was with us for approximately one year, violated the standards of our company and is no longer an employee of CBS. Her views as expressed on social media are deeply unacceptable to all of us at CBS. Our hearts go out to the victims in Las Vegas and their families, a CBS spokeswoman told Fox News. If they wouldn't do anything when children were murdered I have no hope that repugs, sick, will ever do the right thing, Geftman Gold wrote in a now-deleted message that was first reported and captured by the Daily Caller. Geftman Gold continued, I'm actually not even sympathetic BC, sick, country music fans often are Republican gun-toters. Sick, Geffman Gold is presumably referring to Sandy Hook, which occurred in Newtown, Connecticut. Back in 2012, a 20-year-old gunman, Adam Lanza, killed 20 children and 6 adults during the tragic event that sparked intense political debates regarding gun control. It's disturbing that anyone who's passed the bar in any state in this country would consider cold-blooded murder an acceptable way to solve problems. Not to mention is it completely anti-American, it's completely inhuman. The day that we, as people, lose our ability to feel the pain of others is the day we become a menace to society ourselves. There's a distinct likelihood that the very sentiments that Geftman Gold is voicing here are similar to the ones that the gunmen felt prior to this atrocity. When we're young, seeing others hurting is something that makes us inherently on edge or even feel the pain ourselves and we're taught not to be cruel and callous. Maybe life slaps us around and makes us unfeeling, or maybe we choose to stop feeling for others, but regardless, it's a trait that can cause untold damage, as we saw today. The network obviously understands how horrible her comments were because they just can't get far enough away from her. According to Fox Geftman Gold did not work directly with the network's news division. According to her LinkedIn bio, Geftman Gold worked at CBS since September 2016 and graduated from the prestigious Columbia University Law School in 2000. We all want to make sense of what happened, and we all want someone to blame. The right wants to blame the left, and the left wants to blame the white supremacist. What we can safely say is that there is hatred on both sides. Yes, we have defining differences that we shouldn't give in on because it would change the very landscape of our country. But that doesn't mean we have to consider our fellow man to be any less human because they disagree. I don't want to say that love will conquer all because it probably won't, but we know for darn sure that hatred won't. So keep the faith, be strong, stand up for your beliefs, 
but don't forget why you're doing it, life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to my channel.